Hey guys, happy Thursday. I decided to do some cooking today. This isn't really cooking, Never mind. Let me rephrase. I decided to make egg salad on video today. <laughs> um, I think the reason I'm just doing that is because, you know, I get bored with, you know, at home meals and running in between, you know, WebEx meetings and things like that. And I just decided that I was gonna give you guys an idea if you haven't thought about this kind of interesting egg salad. Um, and if you like egg salad, maybe I make it a little different than, you know, somebody else. So what I have here, number one, is a perfectly cooked hard boiled egg done by my husband, who's the expert at egg cooking in our family. I didn't, I don't even bother. He's just so good at it. We're all like, can you just make us eggs? And then he does and it's magic and it's wonderful. So then I'm going to put in some of these little mini cucumbers and I can do, I like cucumbers a lot. I just kind of have it and put it in there uh, a little bit on the thinner side just because um, they're easy to bite, they're easy to eat. Um, they fit on a cracker better than like a whole piece would. And then um, I'm just gonna put that in there. And then I'm going to give that piece to the dog who's wait waiting very patiently as per usual. Uh, a little bit of tomato. I'm not gonna put any of the seeds in. I'm just kind of gonna cut around it. Um, just so I have, again, very small little bite-sized squares or pieces um, so that it kind of is the same size as like the egg would be. So not, not too big. Um, and then let's see what else here. A little bit more tomato. This is really easy too. I can do it super quickly in between meetings. I definitely don't have to you know, spend a lot of time thinking about, you know, what am I gonna eat? What am I gonna do? And how am I gonna do it? And things like that. She lost her cucumber. Come on, come on dog, get with it. Um, <laughs> so it's it's actually a really good, we got beautiful fresh Haas avocado. Yum, yum, yum. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the slice there, pop that right into the bowl. And another little piece, cause I like it. It kind of becomes a little bit of the, um, comes becomes part of the sauce of the egg salad with that avocado. It gets that creamy goodness going. Okay, so now I have all of my ingredients in here, um, except for my Miracle Whip. I'm gonna add a whole bunch of black pepper because I'm a fan. I'm going to add a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt that's fine ground. Um, and then I'm going to, get the best thing for egg salad, Miracle Whip. I love it. It's what I was raised on. Um, I don't usually eat a whole lot of like mayo or Miracle Whip generally, but I have to have it in my egg salad. And if I have turkey sandwiches left over on Thanksgiving, because I'm weird, it's the only time of the year I will ever eat one, ever. Um, I like it with Miracle Whip as well, but that's it. Um, so it's just a traditional thing. It's how it's a, it's a flavor, it's just a flavor profile, you know, it's a flavor preference. So I'm kind of smushing up the avocado a little bit, smushing up those egg yolks a little bit, adding it in, making sure I don't like mustard in my egg salad. It's not like my thing. Um, but I do like the way that the avocado adds that creaminess, that extra creaminess to it. Um, and it's gonna be really good. And so what I'm gonna eat this with, I could have it just by itself. Sometimes I have like one of those long lettuce things I can wrap it up, but look at that, that look good. What I'm gonna do with this beautifulness is I'm gonna have a couple crackers and I have these um, Simple Mills almond flour crackers. They're super delicious. They go great with this. Um, and so I'm just gonna grab a couple of crackers and then I'll eat the rest of whatever's left over. I'll just eat the rest with um, my, um, my trusty spoon here. And that's lunch. It's actually brunch, cause it's 10.23 and I was hungry. So anyway, that's what I'm having this morning. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.